Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball Release and Excel Site, and I am excited to bring to you one of two new product releases that we're coming out with this summer. You see here on the table is a new three finger thumb activated trigger release, and this is called the Rave. It looks very similar to our Blade Pro. It's got a very similar footprint to the Blade Pro uh, in a three finger medium handle. You can see it's got the machining into the second and third finger for added grip. And uh, the, the cool thing about the new uh, Rave is that it's very similar to our Bone Collector T-Rex release where you simply pinch the jaw closed to load it onto your D-loop and then simply pull the trigger to release. There's two simple adjustments on the Rave. Uh, you can see on the top here we have a sensitivity adjustment and on the back of the release we have a travel adjustment. Both of those have a lock screw on the side here and they're both engraved and signified by saying lock with arrows. These lock screws should never be touched, uh, just slightly snugged occasionally. The two lock screws on the side of the release are designed to be left with tension on the sensitivity and travel adjustment screw. If you loosen that lock screw, it could minutely change the feeling of your setting once you get that set. So our design and our whole motto behind keeping resistance on those screws is so it does not adjust or doesn't move your setting. So I wouldn't mess with the lock screws too much uh, unless you just slightly check it occasionally uh, to make sure that they are snug. Uh, again, it's to keep resistance on that sensitivity and travel screw so there's uh, no unwanted movement. So on the top here, I'm going to show you how the sensitivity works. Uh, it simply takes a 564 Allen wrench and you can insert the Allen wrench into the set screw and clockwise or turning the screw in is going to compress the spring making the release harder. Uh, this particular release, you can actually turn the set screw all the way in uh, to where the release will not cock. And if that happens, then you'll want to slightly, uh, you know, counterclockwise turn that set screw back until you get uh, uh, your release to function properly. But you can, you know, you can screw that all the way down and cause the release not to function. So if you do, slightly back it off. Uh, also, this release is designed to be able to function without this sensitivity sp uh, spring at all. So if you want the absolute lightest setting, simply take the set screw out and remove the spring, I would suggest putting the set screw back in to keep any unwanted uh, debris out of the release. So that is one way uh, you know, to achieve an absolute light setting is to remove the set, spr uh, set screw altogether. Now moving on to the travel screw on the back of the release. Um, again, uh, this takes a 50 thousandths Allen wrench and you can simply insert that Less travel is going to be clockwise and more travel is going to be counterclockwise. On this particular uh, rave release, simply to adjust uh, the uh, travel, set, uh, travel setting from the factory, uh, turn the set screw with the re uh, release cocked clockwise until the release pops. And then simply back, we suggest backing that off one quarter turn and that will attain the factory setting. Please remember that if you go less than one eighth of a turn from misfire, you do run the possibility of you know, the release being unsafe and you're getting a, uh, an unwanted uh, pre-fire uh, you know, in that location. So uh, you know, a factory safe setting is that one quarter turn. Uh, the release can properly function at one eighth of a turn, but it's very close to the edge and you just want to remember that. Uh, you know, when you're setting your particular rave release up. Um, you can see the other adjustments uh, that comes factory standard on the rave is the ability to move the thumb trigger or the thumb post into different locations. And you can actually also install the thumb peg directly onto the trigger if you want a shorter uh, reach. Um, you know, if you've got shorter fingers, uh, you know, that can be attained. Um, again, to, to cock the release, you simply pinch the jaw closed onto the D-loop and you're ready to go. You can use it with or without the lanyard here. They come factory standard with the lanyard so you can easily put it on your wrist uh, and it stays connected to you at all times, which is great for a hunting situation. 
this release is, uh, is great for any types of archery, whether it's hunting or target. Uh, it's got a really good trigger on it, so that is uh, a good feel that people like and want. Um, so we've got the lanyard on there should you want to use it in a hunting situation. Uh, it can be removed, simply untie the knots uh, and remove it. Uh, and you can also clip this, uh, you know, the hasp closed and let it hang on your D-loop also is also great for a hunting situation as well. Uh, so this is the new Rave. Uh, it comes standard uh, in this medium size handle, uh, three finger, and it uh, has the black body with the gray trigger and jaw. Um, so if you want more information about the new Rave, feel free to check it out on our, uh, on our website at www.trueball.com.